Now to the tentative deal to end the auto worker strike against Ford. The two sides reaching an agreement overnight. Our chief business correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is here now with more. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Michael. And it has been six weeks since the United Auto Workers began selective strikes at facilities of all three major U.S. automakers. Now the job action is over against one of those companies, the UAW and Ford, both confirming a tentative deal has been reached. The union is calling it a major victory, saying the perspective contract calls for raises of about 25% over four years. It'll raise the top wage to more than $40 an hour, including an increase of 68% for starting wages to more than $28 an hour. There will be other benefit increases as well, and Ford says it's looking forward to getting three of its truck plants back up and running and getting its 20,000 employees back to work. A majority of the 57,000 rank and file Ford employees will have to approve the proposal for it to become official and those strikes against General Motors and Chrysler parent company Stellantis remain ongoing, but the Ford deal could provide a framework in negotiations to end those strikes as well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.